Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Marcus Aurelius, and this is Mountain Blade Warband Anno 1257. And we are in the battle of our lives versus the forces of the Swedish. And it is not a guaranteed victory. Things are actually looking kind of dire. The Swedish tend to arrive together as a big blob, while my men tend to get strung out. And we're not fighting them on equal footing. Oh, there's more of them. But we're doing what we can. Oops, sorry. Sorry, guys. And it appears that now that more of my men, that is my personal soldiers, are on the field, of which we've lost 35 dead, 49 wounded. So that's a large amount. We've almost killed 800 of them. And we've lost about 600 of ours. 700 if you count my personal soldiers. We're going to win this one, but it's going to be bloody. The good news is I have the whole Byzantine army coming to join me after this battle because we're going to take some castles and make things happen. Hey. Uh, I gotta remember to keep moving. These guys are not made for for combat. Hey, it's been a long time since I've couched a lance. Let's see how that works. No, it's not working. There we go. I didn't get this charge for a certain amount of time. Bring it. Yeah! This guy knows what he's doing. And we did it! They're down to nine guys. We've won. And I'm like a really awesome cavalryman. Who are you? Are you one of the Serbians? Or are you one of the Bulgarians? I don't know. My my army is so polyglot. That's the word of the day, folks. That I don't even know who's who anymore. I've got the Greek units memorized, but... Let's see. Okay... Oh, look at you. Look at you. That's cute. Oh. You know what? Let's go the old-fashioned sword. Where are you? Oh. Yes! Who are you? Oh, you might... Yeah, you might... you're one of the Serbians. Okay. Awesome. Alright, what happened? We lost 35 of our own men, dead. 51 wounded. Our allies lost 297, almost 300 dead, 300 wounded. Our enemies, however, lost 858 dead. And they... What? What? Well, at least I got one of them. Look at that, like 11 lords, and they're all escaping? I'm full of prisoners. I don't have any more capacity, unfortunately. Ooh, but I can get some more troops. Georgian Lancer. Georgian Horse Archer. Mediterranean Bandit. You know what, actually? I should take as many of these troops as possible because the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to storm the castle. So you know what, ladies and gentlemen? This is boring. I'm just going to pause the recording for right now, and when we come back, we will try to get our castle back. All right, folks, we're back, and the Swedes have taken Zolom, and there's not much we can do about it right now because it is under siege still from them, and so we can't even re-siege it until it is no longer under siege. Now, the problem, and one of the reasons why I think some parts of this game are really unfair, and Maglik, ah, Sicily's got Maglik again. I have to go back there. Let me get, oh, Spilato still belongs to us for the time being. So... Here's the thing. They just took this about five seconds ago. And it has already 119 people guarding it. I mean, what is that about? When I conquer a place, there's no one guarding it for like hours until the emperor gives it to somebody, unless I personally put soldiers into the garrison. That is annoying as hell. All right. Zolom is no longer under siege. And we lost all of our lords. I don't even care. How about you just surrender? 
No, didn't think so. All right. Then we'll go back up and take Maglik again, and we'll just keep doing this forever. As long as I keep beating their large armies and capturing their lords, at some point, at some point it's got to stop. I should just keep them and not give them up for ransom, but the thing is you lose honor for that, and on top of that, I don't make money. And that's what I need to keep my war machine going. So you'll notice I'm losing 17,000 gold a turn, mostly from my own party. Oh, I don't know if I mentioned this. I was given Trebizond. I did not ask for it. I was simply given it. And it was said that I would not be given anything else if I declined, so I took it. It is being managed by the people. I don't think it's under any kind of threat. Hopefully it will give me some good money. I mean, I'm losing 5,000 a week due to what's called tax inefficiency, whatever the hell that is. This game just does not want me to have a lot of money. This is not a very good force. I don't know where the huge forces of the Roman army went, but here comes somebody. Okay, let's try this one more time. You're well outnumbered. All right. Oh, good. Good, we can't see anything. Hey, there's a different Jesus guy. And of course, the fog does absolutely nothing for the enemy's ability to hit us with ranged weapons. Ah, oh, jeez. Alright. I just need to find a place where I could shoot at them while being relatively protected from arrows myself. How about that? Good night, Kuman. Oh, there's some guys over there. No? There aren't a lot of guardians in this particular castle. Oh, look at you. You think you're so clever. Once I range find you, you're done for. A little higher. No? Alright, enough. Whoa. Careful, Marcus. You don't want to hit your own men. And I have a javelin coming out of my shield. Lovely. Alright. Maybe this will be a little bit easier. Just a little higher. A little higher. There we go. Take some of that in your eye. There we go. Alright. We're seeing success. Ish. Let's see if I can hit that guy. Boom! Yeah, don't run in front of me, guys. It's generally not conductive to a long life. Oh, there's that guy with the double-handed axe. I wish I could take him out. My guys are too close. Those axe guys are a pain. A pain in the axe. <laughs> oh, yeah. Good night, Kuman. I know they're Kumans because they have those silly little hats. Alright. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Alright. Oh, are you kidding me? What is he, the best javelin man in all of Sweden? I'm hitting him. Oh, this is this is bunk. All right, I'll wait for you to move. I have patient. Put your shield down. There we go. Even that's not hitting him. Oh, come on. Okay, he's immortal. Enough of that. Come on, man. Up the ladders. We've lost one of our guys. 41 in general. And 92 killed of the enemy. We've got roughly an equal number injured. A little bit less. This guy with the shield thinks he's so cool. Oh, they're down to 10 guys. 
This battle's over. I was so busy trying to do my part that I didn't notice that it was pretty much a done deal. Now sometimes this castle gets buggy. See how they keep running up and then running back? Not actually hurting anyone? Well, now they're starting to move. They just, this is weird. Weird AI. I'll try to help however I can here. Oh, I see. Yeah, guys get stuck here and nobody can attack them for some reason. Death by being shot in the butt. That's got to be kind of embarrassing. Alright, that managed to get the AI thinking again. Ish. There's four of them left. Three now. No one's even moving toward this guy. Nope, oh, there they go. There's another guy here. There he is. There he is. I don't know why nobody's killed you yet. But I'm up for the job. Alright everybody, just let me on the let me on the stairs. We're wasting time here. Oh, okay. Victory then! I will accept victory. One dead. I'll take that. Just have too many prisoners. Get some bandits, I guess, just to help. I need I need to refuel, basically. No, I don't want Zolum. It's just gonna fall again to them in five minutes. Let's see, who has a lot of troops? Ooh, nine mounted sergeants, great. So which one of these lords? is going to... I wish I could tell them to garrison it. Just hang out in this castle and keep it safe. But you can't do that. Muzalon. Muzalon, you're my boy. You're my boy, Muzalon. Alright, I need you to... Oh, go to. I can. Go to. Or actually, will he, will he stay there, though? Oh my gosh, I don't know. Will he stay there? I don't know if he will or not, so I'm just going to have him patrol. But tell, let me know, guys. Let me know if it will actually stay there. And I've already forgotten the name of the place. Zolum. Alright, Muzalan. All I need you to do is protect it from the roving bands of guys. If an entire army comes, you can flee. But for right now, just keep it safe. We are going to go to Zeged and then Maglik. Come, Romans. Alright. Ransom broker? No. No, we are stymied. Haven't seen one of you in a long time. Sure. We can take whatever we can get. Probably didn't need that. Alright. Let's get rid of some of these. Oh, really? You have no money? Oh, and I have so much stuff worth a lot of scratch. Like this. I'm going to give this to one of my guys. I'm going to... Oh, it's only... Oh, it's one-handed? Oh, I can give it to them now? Awesome. Arms merchant. 87. No, mine's longer. Mine... No, mine's 87 too. I can give that to one of my guys, though. That'll give me more prisoners. Unbalanced, though. I don't know if I like that. Well, they don't have any money. Armor? Ah, here we go. Thick knightly plate surcoat. So that's better than what I have. I can give that to one of my oikai oi. Thick great helm. Wow. 92. Look at the price tag. I just don't have the uh I don't have the money for it right now. I need every bit of money I have. 600. 800. There we go. Horse merchant have any money? Enough for a hat. And maybe a cleaver. I should get some food, I guess. Alright. That's that. Still no ransom broker. I really could use one of those. 
And there's Maglik. Well, you know, Maglik's already been taken. I suppose stopping by Varad real quick wouldn't hurt. Come on, Ransom Broker. No. Dang it. Kuman Skirmisher? No. Wrong religion. Oh, good. You have some money. Here, take that. Ooh, a balanced Spatha. That better... I need to get that to one of my guys. Ship Byzantine Sword. Okay. Kettle Helm. All right. The balanced Falcon, too. Falch Falchion. I know how to say that correctly. Why aren't I? Balanced Counterpoint Series Knightly Sword. Swing 40. No, it's not as good. Okay. Spangen Helm. Norman Helm. I'm going to keep the Cleaver. And that, yep, yep, and yep. Okay. Armor Merchant. Thick Bishop Great Helm. Okay. Maybe when I'm playing Dress Up later, I guess. I don't know. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, that's not that good though. 61. 286. 154. Oh, wow, look at that. Why is that worth so much money? It's not even that good. Crude surcoat. That's 50. That's not that good either. All right. So, yeah, we're going to sell you. You're not that good. And that was... Zaged. I really wish I could get a ransom broker somewhere. That'd at least give me five or six thousand. Alright, Zolom, still in good shape. Erstergom, still in good shape. Quizug, good shape. Spilato, under siege, of course. Of course it is. Alright, so we're going to make for Spilato, and we'll get back to Maglik eventually. Yeah. People of Sardis are just going to have to deal. See, the problem with Maglik is it's right here, yes. Oh, they took Spilato. All right, well, they've taken it, so I guess it doesn't matter. So maybe we can convince the Maglikans, <laughs> the Maglikans, to retreat. Or not to retreat, but to... Ah, yes, you'll be ransomed. I give you my word. Okay. Sometimes it works, folks. I need a drink of tea. Just a moment. Ah, uh, yeah. Ooh, 11 Serbian Squires. Alright. So who's going to guard Maglik? Anybody here have a bunch of guys? Man, you guys are all terrible. Vitatsis has 91... Gustakos? I don't even know who you are, but you're guarding Maglik. Troll around. Do you get war points for raiding? You probably do. I should be I should be telling my guys to raid. I don't like raiding myself personally because it hurts my honor. But if it means the wars will end, because these wars have gone on forever. There it is. I saw it. I saw it. All right, so he's guarding Maglik, which means the rest of us can go to Spoleto, and on the way, we'll go to Berskovo. Come on, Ransom Broker. Ah! Blast! Well, at least there's a marketplace. No, I want the Falcon. Falchion. Fal she fal she fal she on. Okay. Excellent. Nine hundred ninety-two, and this is worth a thousand seven hundred. Oh my gosh! Anything I want here? Oh, do I? But can't afford it. So, moving on. All right, we are off to Spoleto. Or Spilato. Yes, I know, he's laying waste. Blah, blah, blah. On the way, let's go to Kator. Come on, Ransom Broker. Uh, do 
you have 200,000 by any chance? Oh, you do! How fascinating. I'll take some bread and grapes. Okay, so we have a fair amount of money now, but would have a lot more and room for more prisoners if I could just find a ransom broker. Oh! If it's not our little Sicilian friends! Alright, ladies and gentlemen, well, you know what? This episode's nearly over anyway, so I'm just going to call it an end, and the next episode will be the battle. So we've seen a battle against the Swedish, we've seen a battle against the Holy Romans, so now we're going to see a battle against the Sicilians. So once again, I am Marcus Aurelius. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one.